was an awesome day right here behind me is where I spotted that mule deer way out in the middle there. Dusty actually spotted him. And the play, we had a wind coming from this way to this way. So luckily we were able to utilize this small ditch right here. And I'll show you how I utilize that entire system right there to get within 200 yards. And then it was a slow crawl and a long, long wait for a perfect shot. But that's mule deer hunting 101 early season and open fields, open ag. You gotta play the wind first use the terrain to navigate have patience to wait 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 until you have that perfect shot hour waiting on this mule. He's been in bow range and the wind's blowing the canola. We have to lay down low. Every couple minutes we rise up and we've just missed him standing up and moving around twice by the time I got a good range set the sight and we were already laid back down like probably two, three, four times. I'm not sure. Yeah. Jeremy's right over here. Got the decoy. Every five minutes we rise up, just take a look, come back down. It's gonna happen. Six hours and holding the hold. Oh, dude. My legs are shaking. I haven't, done, I haven't shook like this in a long time. Yeah. Yes. So pumped. We crawled in here. We'll show you our little path. We crawled in here and just set this guy up like this. Just so Jared could be to the side and I was to the side and that buck stood up. Dude, he looked all around, never seen that. Right here is where this buck stood. If you guys come up right here, you'll see he was he was within this whole area for over six hours. Right here, right here was his bed. He would bed right down in here. He'd get up, he'd feed that way, he might feed that way, he might feed that way, just two or three or four steps. Then he'd come right back in, bed down. We were right over there, got to the last place we could possibly get. You can see how thick this canola is and shot him right here I can see where he went through and I can see where he's piled up right there 33 yards <laughs> look at this sucker levitate did it again Dude, look at that freaking buck. <laughs> yes, what a perfect velvet buck. What a unbelievable opening day here. Just a giant, giant buck. This buck is freaking just a beast. And I'm here with uh, Red Willow Outfitters. I've been hunting with Taylor and Todd for a long, 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 long time. And unfortunately with COVID, had several years where I couldn't come. Came up here, 
whole gang came up. Dusty, Jeremy came with me as we always have in the past and these guys are just cruising with me. We got a camper up here. We're just cruising around. We've gotten permission up here for over 20 years and this is just an old, old deer. He's draining canola out but he looked like he was missing some teeth in the front. Just a bomb of a shot. <laughs> just a ridiculous muley. Worked out unbelievable and I'll tell you the takeaway from this is sometimes with mule deer it is so hard to have the patience to be able to sit there and look at a deer this big and not push it. This guy you can see when we're bedded right now this is all I could see was this. So if I would have got with inside 20 yards there's no way I could see his body in a bedded position so I had to get to where I was on a rise and when he stood up I could see the body I could see the top two-thirds of the body and that was absolutely critical to making this shot but what an awesome awesome beast we're gonna field the dress this guy here put those put the insides in a bag put them on a pole and get them out of this canola so we don't wreck any more of this crop and uh, give some of the best cuts to the farmer but what an awesome, awesome buck. Holy smokes. <laughs>